Hello everybody, it's System Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing the Sky Factories. The Sky Factory 3s! Yep, I'm back at it. No idea why. And I got the googly eyes. Look at me. All googly eyed and stuff. Crazy eyed. And, uh, yeah. In between videos. Didn't do much. Well, tiny bit, but not much of anything. So, let's get to what we're doing today. Because we got stuff to do. Um, yeah. You might have seen my armor. I actually figured out you can actually enchant it. Which is really cool. So I did enchant it. Uh, I gave it full thorns, some blast protection, some fire protection, projectile protection, and just some protection, <laughs> I guess as well. So yeah, it's fully, well not fully enchanted. I could have thrown a lot more on here. I just really didn't see the point. Didn't see the point. Uh, and I fixed my chest now, so it's actually wither resistance. So yeah, that's a thing. It's uh, good to go. Good to go. Um, what we're going to do today? Well, we kind of set up for it in the last, ep last episode. We kind of set up for it uh, with the whole Portal of Alfheim and all that jazz. So uh, we're actually going to fight Guy today. We're going to get to that. So I, w I really want to get it done. Uh, I had a problem, too, with my system. It was getting really, really laggy. And every time I would come in here, I get tons of lag. So I've actually been filtering out some items that I had massive amounts of and getting rid of them. That's why I have this trash can here and this exporter. Um, I noticed as soon as I started getting a lot of the items out of here, all my lag went away. But the normal defrag wasn't working. So that is the thing. That is why I have that there. Um, so when if I get any buildup, I still need to add more things to the DSUs and to the 1K storages. As I identify them, uh, I'll deal with them, but any excess, I'm going to trash off because I'm finding refined storage in 110 uh, definitely has an issue. Definitely has an issue when you get a lot of drives full. You just get definite, definite slowdown. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what that's about, but uh, I'm dealing with it as it comes up. And uh, no, I don't have that on right now. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. That's why I have that there. Just thought I'd point that out since uh, there's definite a change there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't recorded a video in a few days either. I should mention is because uh, I moved. I actually moved, and I'm still figuring out the acoustics of the new room. So uh, until I get that locked down, things might sound a little different. But uh, I'm definitely gonna work on it. Definitely gonna work on it. But this room definitely has different acoustics, and I need to get it figured out. And that takes time. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, so we're gonna do the ritual of Gia. We're going to do both of them, but we're going to do this one first because, well, you have to. And we're going to need some pixie dust, some elementium, and a mana pylon. So I think we need four of those pylons, actually. So let's grab the recipe. I should have everything I need. Should definitely, actually. Almost definitely. So let's grab four. One, two, three, four. Throw those in there. And we should be able to just make those with everything that we made. Boom. There we go. We're also going to need a beacon. Beacon. I'm actually pumped to do this fight. This fight is really cool. Really, really cool. I'm excited. So there we go. We got a beacon. And I think we need some iron blocks. Do I have any? Yes, I do. Let's just grab a stack. There we go. There we go. I'm not very concerned about this first fight. Uh, I'm not sure how strong he's going to be the second fight. But uh, I, I'm pretty, pretty sure I can fight him. I should grab some... Supremium apples, just to be safe. No craftables, only craftables. Where are my apples? That's inferium. We want supremium. Boom. We'll make ten of those. Go. Where's my apples? There they are. And there we go. So I made a platform out in this direction before my tree farm. So this is where we're actually going to be doing the fight. There we go. And. Oh, let me fix that. I'm not hearing any sound. There we go. I can hear sound again. Beautiful. So, what we need to do. We actually look at the book. It'll actually show us exactly what we need to do. So, let's visualize it. Boop. And throw it like right there. No, right there. Uh, I guess I gotta place a block for me to be able to right click on to be able to actually visualize it, which is kind of awkward, but we'll do it. Boop. And come here on visualize and visualize. Then I should be able to right click on this block. Boop. Hey. 
You moving? Nope. Okay. So we'll just do what it tells us to. Because we like to obey. Obey. Boom. There we go. And uh, I guess... Where is it? Right here. Boop. And grab that. Put this here. This fight is cool. If you've never seen it, it is a sight to behold. Pretty cool sight. And I think I have to do this a total of... I'm not going to make you guys watch every time. But to get all the rewards, I think you got to do it seven times. I'm not positive. I think it's seven. But uh, this is the weaker version of them. There we go. Structure complete. That's a good sign. And we don't need these, so we'll get rid of that. And this should be quite a busy fight. Quite a busy fight. Here we go. Because uh, it is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Guy is a wonky guy. Did I? <laughs> I forgot my terror steel. Uh, we need terror steel. So let's go back. Boop. C can I? There we go. There's some terror steel. We only need one to get it. I should have set up a teleport there, but I didn't. Because, well, I'm a derp. And derping is what I do. Let's uh head out here. Ooh, there we go. And I think it's just... Oops. There we go. Okay, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to turn it all the way down because, well, quite frankly, the music's epic. You just have to listen to me talk over it. It's such a cool fight. Ha! <laughs> this first one's actually super easy. And that purple stuff, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts my feelings. There we go. There we go. And he looks like me. We'll definitely do the first two anyway. Whoa. He's actually hurting me. Leave me alone. Where is he? There we go. Haha. -ha. I know at some point he summons enemies too, or mobs. Or might might be the second fight. No, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that. That's epic. Epic. And the music. The melodic metal is just badass. I could have cheesed this, but I decided to do it, you know, the fair way. Come here. There we go. Just like that, it ends. Just like that. Easy peasy. There we go. And we get a bunch of these guy spirits. And this is actually what we need to do the next summon. Should be able to do a guy Igget, I believe. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not worried about all the rest of the stuff. Is it this and Terra Steel? Well, I'll have to head back and do that. But uh, let's take a look here. Pretty cool fight, though, eh? Really cool fight. I might have to actually use an apple in the second one because uh, at one point he actually did start hurting me. I was actually quite surprised. I figured with his armor I'd be okay. I look like a pin cushion, but uh, pretty cool. You guys probably couldn't hear me very well there for a couple minutes, but what can you do? What can you do? I wanted to make sure it was, you know, guys could hear it because it is pretty pretty amazing pretty amazing uh we want two gaia summoning ritual two gaia there we go ritual gaia two bam so we need tear steel and four of those okay well if i was smart i would have brought a crafting grid with me but i did not 
So uh, let's head home. Boop. Go here. I guess I can make two of them right now. Because uh, like I said, I'm going to have to do this several times. But I only need one. Boom. Boom. And I should just have to right click the altar with this. And then I will start yet another fight. These igots, I don't believe, are used for anything else. They can't be used to make anything. Or anything. They're, they're literally just useless. Other than than for this 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 battle so uh, I am gonna fight him again but this time I'll turn the music down you guys already get to hear it once so we'll turn it way down there we go that should be much better hopefully I think I am gonna eat an apple this time though I'm definitely gonna eat an apple because this time he's gonna hit a lot harder there we go There we go. I love that tune though. It's awesome. Oh, I still heard him a lot. There we go. How dare you disable my flight? Oh. Shooting stuff at me this time. Could, could you not do that, sir? Where's he going? I can't seem to hit him. That's kind of weird. There we go. Those things are knocking me back right at the wrong time. Whoa. He teleports so much. Please stop teleporting, sir. There we go. Once you get him to the point where he summons mobs, it's pretty much over. But uh, if you're not prepared, th that ground damage can do tons of damage. There we go. Bring up. Where is he? Oh, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Retreat. If it wasn't for my generation, I'd be long dead. Come here. Oh man, those bats. Ha ha, sir. Come here. Where'd he go? Oh, he flew. He went up. And it's actually nice having this fight because it just lets my shield regenerate and all that jazz. Although, compressed zombies are kind of annoying. Just saying. Oh, the humanity. There he is. Where is he? The bounce back is real. Time to end this. 
Come here. Come here, me. I never noticed, actually, before fighting him. I guess it was never been this light out when I've been fighting him, but I didn't know he actually looked like me. You know, not me, but whoever he's fighting. Oh, that's irritating. I should have bought a ranged weapon. There we go. There we go. All done. Did I get my dice? Yes, we did. Oh. Another relic shader grab bag. And some runes greed. That's pretty cool. If you're actually doing overgrowth seeds. Uh, that's for the terror steel armor upgrades. He drops those as well. But you also get these dice. And this is why I'm going to fight him a few more times. I'm not going to make you guys watch them. Watch them all. But boom. He gave us a key to King's Law. And I forget what that one does. We'll have to look that up. I think it... Actually, that might bind. I'll have to look that up. <clears throat> but there is like a ring that you can get that you can combine and wears a bobble and it's really strong. And I am going to get that. So, um, yeah. I think I'm going to fight him a few more times. I'm going to get this finished up. I'm going to get all the rewards and uh, I will be back. Okay, and that's all done. All done. Everything's finished. Uh, I actually ended up having to fight him eight times. I thought he gave you one of the items every time. I guess sometimes you get unlucky and he doesn't give them to you. I guess guess I just didn't realize that in the past. But you have the chance of rolling the same number more than once and don't always get 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 the item you want. But uh, that's a thing. But uh, I did do it. it. Took me eight times, and I got all the items now. Uh, this is the cool one. I kind of I kind of forgot about this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I'll just show you here. If you have a mana source in your inventory and charge it up, um, yeah, it does this. Then you can just pick the direction you want to shoot it and go bam. That's actually pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I might keep that one around just for fun. Just for fun. Cause it is it is pretty cool. Oh, okay. And it's good to know that it doesn't blow up my base. <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> and uh, the fruit, the fruit of Gracilia, that one is uh, saturation with the use of mana. But we're not going to need that one at all. We're going to get rid of that one right away. I'll throw that in there. Uh, this one, I think, is just basically a dislocator. I think you can just bind a spot. I think there's a way of doing it. I'm not sure how it works. It's showing the spot. I'm not sure how it works. I'd have to look it up, but this one is a teleport of some kind. You can bind it somehow. Um, I haven't used this in so long because I always have a dislocator in every pack I play. <laughs> but there is a way of making this uh, teleport you some places. I'm not going to worry about it though. Boop. Get rid of you. It disappeared. And this is what I wanted the three rings. Uh, the Ring of Thor, I think, powers up the Terror sh Shatter and has some other effects. The Ring of Loki does some funky thing that it lets you place blocks in a weird set order and carry out an action. And the Ring of Odin, I think, is regeneration and immunities, I think. Don't quote me on those. But if you put them all three together, you get the uh, boom. The, you get you get a fancy ring. Oh, can't even look at what it says. There we go. Dropping this item will break it down the components. Oh, I don't care about that. But uh, it, it basically gives all the effects of the rings in, in one shot. So that should give us more regeneration. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. Still only showing regeneration one, so maybe not. But uh, it's a thing. It also gives you absorption. Oh, my heart's changed. So I have a row of hearts and a row of like double hearts. So that's actually really useful. I think that's from that, is it? Let's see here. Maybe I have to let it tick down. Cause I, my or hearts are orange now. I don't remember them being orange. Were they always orange? Am I just crazy? I might be crazy. Hmm, maybe cause it's in my inventory. I don't want to throw it away now. I'll have to check the video later and see if that actually changed my hearts. But uh, anyway, Batania's done now. It's officially finished. We do not have to do any more Batania. Uh, if I do anything else with Batania, it'll be just for fun. Uh, 
yeah, Batania's done. Batania's done. Like I said, pretty soon we're going to be looking at the achievement book almost exclusively because we are reaching that point. We've got a few more mods to go through, and then we're going to be hitting achievements. Uh, Blood Magic's going to be really soon, so that is the thing. Uh, yeah, the next thing. Uh, I want to hatch some dragon eggs. I want to hatch some dragon eggs, but we need to go get the eggs. So I need... What's it called? I need a piston. Piston? Piston. Let's grab some of these. We have two of those. Do we get a lever? Lever? Of course I don't have any levers. Why would I have a lever? Boom. I think you can still do it this way. We're about to find out. Do do do. Because there is a bunch of them over in the end. Why am I flying this way when the end's right here? Let's head to the end. Do do do. Going to the end. And just wait for that loading lag. Oh, my hearts went back to normal color. Hmm. I'm curious now. No. Don't know why my hearts went back to normal color. We'll have to see. But uh, we're gonna see if this works. Oh, I got I got them mad at me. They're angry. Shut up. Be quiet. Silence, I say. Okay. Throw that. Not there. Be able to put this like right there. And do... Can I do it like this? There it is. Boop. I think we'll just do two for now. Oh, that didn't break it. Oh, one broke. There we go. Good enough. We'll come back and get the rest later. Or hatch more. But that gives us our two eggs. Boop. Oh, I still haven't made a platform for this too. So we'll have to make a platform really quick. Shouldn't it be a big deal? I just need to pick a material. Let's look what I have a bunch of that I would like to get rid of. Just to empty out my system. Let's see here. I've already done iron. Nickel would be hideous. Silver? What do silver blocks look like? Silver. Silver. Not that good. How about gold? We'll do gold. Gold? Gold's got some nice blocks. Let's go with gold. How about... And I'll soon have dragons. They are pretty cool. But also, there's an achievement with the dragons, of course. So, we need to work towards that. Well, it's an annoying one. You have to actually jump from one to another while they're both flying. Uh, of course, I didn't bring a lever either, did I? Or anything I need for a lever. Throw you. Yeah. Throw all this stuff in there. Boop. That'll be definitely enough, I think, for the bottom floor. If not, we can get more. But, uh, that's a thing. Do, 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 do. Lever. And there we go. Got one lever. Head back. Why are you not on my baubles? I gotta keep my devil tail. It wouldn't be right. I've had that since the start of the game. Ever since those, uh, artifact bags. It's kept it. And is it set to the right thing? Turn on the preview. Yes. Is it enough? Yes, it was. Awesome. Oh, and I actually built the top floor first. Okay, so we're going to have to go down. Pull it out. And how tall do I want it? Let's make it... Let's go minus... That was minus one. Let's make it seven tall. That should be good enough. Boop. How many we got in there? Enough to start it at least. This, this, this. And we got a mob farm. Okay, well, I think I'll fix this. I'm going to have to definitely paint some of these blocks. So, let's do that. Okay, now that we get that all finished up and that problem taken care of, 
let's get those out of the way. And this, we just gonna need to get our glass. Actually, let's not use glass. Let's use a uh, fused quartz. Yes, I knew I made a bunch of it. Just so it's nice and clear. And we'll throw that on there. Oh, and we're gonna need one more thing because I wanna try something actually. Ice, ice essence. How do you use this stuff? I've never actually used the ice essence. So ice, s, boom, use. Nope, nope, nope. I want to click off that. Oh, not ice you. Ice S. There we go. Boom. Use. Snow. Packed ice. Okay, I want to make some packed ice. Because there's supposed to be a way to get a specific, you know, specific uh, dragons based on what they're hatched on. And I want to try it. I'm going to try it two separate different ways, I guess. And uh, see if it works, because, yeah, I really want a specific one. Oh, tiny bit of lag. But, uh, yeah, I want to get a specific one. I want to have the ice dragon. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I might make more in the future. But uh, for right now, I'm going to try to make two of the ice dragons. Because one of the achievements is actually jumping from one dragon to another while they're both flying in the air. Um, for right now, I'm just going to cage them and get them hatched. So they're always here. They don't get away on us. <laughs> because they can be annoying sometimes. They just want to fly places. You can tether them, but uh, if I'm not looking when they hatch, they can wander off and go places. Even fall into the void, I heard. But uh, that's a thing. I'll fix that after. Boop, 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 boop. Once I get this around, I can just wand it. Well, I just did it again, but we'll fix it. We have the technology. Boop. And I did it again. Oh, well. We'll fix it after. I just want to get it built now. Okay, and... Where are those doubled up ones? That'll drive me nuts. No, nope, that wasn't a doubled up one. Let's break it for no reason. Saw some doubled up ones. I know I did it. There's one. I know it's really minor and uh, unimportant, but little things like this drives me nuts. There we go. If there's more, we'll get them. Uh, do I have a wand in my bag? If so, that'll make this really quick. Yes, it will. Sweet. I can tell you right now, I'm switching this roof. I don't like this as a roof. I didn't mean to make this one as a roof. So, I am going to be changing that. <laughs> I do not like that at all. Going to be changing that. I don't mind it as the floor, but as the roof, ain't going to happen. So, let's try this. Okay. One said, one of the things I saw said to do this. And the other one said to do this and we're going to test and see if either of them work because I haven't seen it really confirmed or denied anywhere we'll see if either of these actually give us the ice one that we want there we go and we'll just boop look to start hatching stage egg that's going to take an hour whoa where did my other egg go that's not two eggs is it I might have to go get another egg. I'm going to have to go get another one. I have no idea why it took two eggs at once. Unless there can only be one egg in the world at once. I thought I might have heard that somewhere. Hmm. I might have to grow one at once. But uh, I'm going to go try real quick. Oh, and all of a sudden, magically, there's an egg on my bar. I have no idea. Let's let's go back and see if it disappears or if I can actually place it. Nope, it's back magically. Okie dokie, we won't argue. I think I confused it by having two eggs. Oh well, we'll try placing it. Which side has the doorway? <laughs> I should have just did it on every side, then I would have always known, but hey. We're going to try putting this one right here. And doing this. There we go. 
that's gonna take an hour <laughs> so yeah I might take a break here and come back in a bit and when these are all finished up we'll take a look and see which dragons I actually get I think that'd be pretty cool and uh, yeah that's a thing uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit okay and I'm back I'm back and well they're not hatched yet they're not hatched yet but uh, I did do some work <laughs> Uh, the eggs did change color, so I think these are going to change into the ice eggs, which is awesome. This one's about to change stages in 30 se seconds. I don't know if that's the stage that's actually going to be the baby. Um, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it is. There were tons of bats in here, too. So I added this aversion obelisk, and I caught one of the bats at a soul vial and put an octatic in it. So now no bats can spawn in 106, 160 meters. Really good if you just want to keep out uh, one mob. But uh, I just want to watch this guy real real quick because he's about a minute ahead of the other one. But uh, see if he's going to actually... Yes, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. I got a baby. Baby. Oh, I got the ghost dragon. The ghost dragon? Wait, that's not the one I'm supposed to get. Huh. The ghost I thought you had to... When I looked about how to hatch the different eggs, the ghost one was supposed to be underground. Which I guess technically this is underground if it was above world uh, but it said it was supposed to be in the dark huh these are pretty cool looking ones too I'm actually okay with that they're actually big skeleton dragons that's pretty awesome I thought it was gonna turn into them we'll see if this one does too but uh, yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I wanted the ice one but uh, he's pretty cool too I like this guy we'll see you in a sec see what he looks like when he's full grown look at him he's awesome He's awesome. I'll name one Kibble and the other one Bits. They'll be Kibbles and Bits. They'll be amazing. They'll be my warriors of the night. Something like that? I have no idea. I don't know why I talk sometimes. But here you go. Bam. Yeah, I got two ghost dragons. Huh. And they're definitely on packed ice. So I guess a lot of it has to do where you actually hatch the egg. Huh. I will have to try to do some ice ones later on. Um... But these ones will work for now, work for now. Uh, let's go over this real quick, though. The Aversion Obelisk, I did that super quick because he was hatching. If you guys never used this before, um, pretty cool item. I kind of forgot about it. I was just like, how am I going to deal with bats? They're driving me nuts. So just chassis, Angelic Alloy, Solarium, Tormented Enderman Skull, which you can craft in a slice and spice, but you also get it very rarely from killing Endermen. And I actually had nine in my system from killing Endermen. Um... Because, you know, I kill Endermen non-stop and I've killed hundreds of thousands of them. If I actually had the beheading modifier, I probably would have tons of them. But, uh, I don't have the beheading modifier on my, uh, mob, mob bashers. So, uh, I'm not getting that many. But, uh, yep, that's how you get that. And then, yeah, just, whoops. Just, uh, catch a bat in a bottle or any mob that you want to keep away. Uh, and... Just, just the size changes depending on the on the uh, capacitor. So with the octatic, it's 160. My sphere is only what 151 by 151. So it should pretty much cover it all. I think. I think anyway. I'm not sure. Oh, show range. Yes, it covers it all because it went all the way outside the sphere. Good enough. Bam. So I guess you can show range, which is really cool too. But if you had any other mobs you just wanted to keep out of the area, one of these, some power, and uh, whatever mobs you have in the soul vial, and bam, they're gone. And that's a thing. And I also changed these all to lapis. I didn't like the gold. I do like the lapis. I think they're a pretty cool block. Look pretty nice, actually. And uh, yeah, that's a thing. But uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to end this video here. I got my ghost dragons. They were supposed to be ice dragons. So we learned that uh, environment must play a real big part in uh, hatching the dragons you want because uh, the video I watched said this was gonna work then I read something that said this was gonna work then another one said encase it completely but the ghost dragons they all said that it had to be done underground so I guess technically by what the game thinks this is underground so I guess that's a thing I guess that's a thing anyway I'm gonna leave that here and uh, end this video uh, I think it was a good one. It was a good one. Uh, didn't get a lot of progress, but uh, got stuff we had to get done. So, Batania's completely done now, and uh, we're on our way to doing dragons. So, I mean, 
we did what like two achievements three achievements three achievements done and uh, we'll get on to actually getting into other kinds of progression in the next video we're probably gonna start up blood magic very very soon because that is a big chunk of stuff to get done and uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a while so that's gonna be a grindy one I think I got a good way of getting through it pretty good uh, kind of cheesing it a little bit but uh, yeah we'll get to that Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. You guys all have a good one. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it and you like my googly eyes, uh, please hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated as always. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take off. Later.